Your guest Wi-Fi password sucks. Why? Because they all suck. Check this out. Hey man, great to see you. How you been? Hey, good to see you too. What's your Wi-Fi password? Hey, hey, no problem. Password is one, two, three, four, five. See if we can get them. Gotcha. One, two, three, four, five. That's the stupidest password I ever heard in my life. It's the kind of thing an idiot would have on his luggage. One, two, three, four, five. Yes. That's amazing. I've got the same combination on my luggage. Hi, Mom. How are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, it's so good to see you too, honey. What's your Wi-Fi password? Mom would like to get on the internet. Sure, no problem, Mom. The password is suck on my chocolate. You know what? Just give me your phone. I'll do it for you. Hey, what's going on? Thanks for stopping in. Hey, good to see you too. What's your Wi-Fi password? The Wi-Fi password is capital D ampersand. What's ampersand? That's capital seven. Capital seven, lowercase j, the number four, at. Oh, you mean capital two? Okay. Yeah, capital two, backslash, the one under the question mark or over the enter key? Yeah, that's the one under the question mark. Yep. Bang. What's bang? Capital one, dude. Dude, it, it's not working. I, I think I made a typo. Can you give it to me again? Okay, capital D, ampersand. Any of those look familiar? Which one are you? Are you the easy? Are you the embarrassing? Or are you the too hard? What if I told you that you could have a super strong, secure guest Wi-Fi password that would also be exceptionally easy for your guests to use to get on the network? What do you think about that? You're interested, right? Watch this. Hey man, great to see you, how you been? Hey, good to see you too. What's your Wi-Fi password? Oh yeah, you don't need a password. Just scan that QR code on the tablet over there on the wall. You'll be all set. How sweet is that? Generally, when I tell people about this solution, I get one or two responses. Nah, dude, it's not Fort Knox. It's just my home Wi-Fi, man. Or, that's pretty cool. Can you teach me how to set that up? I want to do that at my house. Before we dive into the nuts and bolts of how to make this happen, I'd like to take a minute and say welcome to the channel and to say thank you for watching. I know a lot of people say thank you, but I really want to thank you by giving away three Amazon Fire tablets. Interested in winning one of those? More information at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Let's talk about what's really going on behind the scenes for that QR code. Let me begin by saying that this solution, unfortunately, is only for Ubiquiti Dream Machines. Can it be done with other equipment? probably, but I don't have any other equipment here to test with. So if somebody wants to send me some other equipment, I'll be happy to figure it out for you and we'll make a video about that too. High level, there's a scheduled task that runs at a specified time that generates a password of a specified length. 32 characters, 64 characters, whatever you want, no problem. Then the password and the SSID are encoded into a QR code, which is then displayed on the dashboard of Home Assistant. Guests just then scan the QR code with their phone to get on the guest network. Super easy. Let's dive in and take a look at how to set this up. All right, so head on over to Home Assistant, open Studio Code Server, and we're gonna create a new directory called Scripts if you don't already have one. And then underneath that directory, we're going to click to create a new file and we're gonna name that Wi-Fi change.sh. And we're gonna paste in our script. I'll leave the link to the article with the scripts in it in the description below so you don't have to type all that in. All right, so after we've got that pasted in there, we're gonna go over to our configuration.yaml file. And then we're going to define our script and the variables that we're going to pass into that script. And once we've got that finished, we're gonna head on over to automations.yaml and we'll paste in the automation code. And now here's where we need to make some changes to some stuff. Line six there where it says at 0300. 
That's gonna be the time that you want this to execute. So you can go ahead and modify that. You can modify that ID number. I doubt you're already using that number, but if you are, go ahead and modify that. Enter the username and password for your Unify controller. That needs to be a local user. You cannot use the root user or a cloud user. Then the base URL will be the IP address of your Unify machine. Then for network ID, we need to go over to your Unify controller. The network ID can be found by browsing to the wireless network that you wanna automate and opening that SSID. Then up in the browser bar at the top, the last portion of the URL is the network ID. So we're gonna highlight that, copy paste that. That goes in the network ID field. And the SSID is just the name of the SSID. So for this case, I'm gonna use guest. And we're gonna go back to configuration.yaml. And in here we need to define the camera that we're gonna to use to display the QR code. And the reason I'm not using a static picture is because some browsers and some apps can have caching issues with that. I didn't ever run into this issue with my deployment, but I've had some users report that they did. So then we'll go over to dashboard. We'll edit the dashboard, add a new tab. I'm just gonna make the icon, the MDI Wi-Fi icon, kind of like that. Save that, and then we'll add a card. And we wanna add a picture entity card. And we'll edit the code there. Remove those bottom two lines. And again, all that will be found at the link. And you'll see that there's no QR code being displayed. Automation hasn't run yet. We don't have a QR code. If we go over and look in automations, you'll see that the automation's not there. That's because we edited the file directly. And that was our first automation, our only automation. So we can't reload those. So go ahead and restart Home Assistant to load all the automations and definitions and scripts and stuff. There we go. And now if we go back and look in automations, we'll see that's there. So we'll go back to our Unify controller and we'll look at the password. And you'll see that that ends in Z-E-N-W. So let's go run our automation to change that and generate a QR code. There you go. It's that fast. Didn't edit anything. Go back to Unify. It tells you something's changed. Reset the form. I'll go ahead and look at that password again, and you can see that it's changed. And then if we go back to our dashboard, click the Wi-Fi, there's the QR code for it. It's that easy. So what do you think? Looks pretty easy, right? I agree. So why did I develop this? I've been working in IT now for over two decades. For the last dozen years or so, I've been working in consulting. And as a consultant, I've seen all kinds of catastrophes befall networks of all shapes and sizes, from small little retail entities to large educational institutions to corporate customers, and everywhere in between. A quick look on the internet will reveal many, many, many types of businesses that have been affected due to network intrusion and subsequent data destruction and breaches. Do I really think somebody's gonna break into my home network? Probably not, but I do a lot of work remotely so I need to make sure that my network is secure. I still wanna provide guest access though to my guests, of course. One of the big problems that I face is living in suburban America. I have many, many neighbors, and being the social creatures that humans are, I like to invite my neighbors over from time to time. Due to how robust my Wi-Fi network is, the signal bleeds out, of course, into surrounding yards, probably a few surrounding homes. What I don't want to happen is for a neighbor to come over, be invited over, get on my guest Wi-Fi, then when they get home, they're still connected to my guest Wi-Fi network. They may not even realize it. Then they're siphoning off my bandwidth, watching YouTube videos or whatever it is that they choose to do while I'm at home on a WebEx trying to work. In order to prevent that, I developed this solution. The password gets changed every night, which kicks everybody off of my Wi-Fi network. The password is also very, very long and complex, and it's still easy for everyone to get connected when they come over. All they've got to do is scan the QR code and they're on the Wi-Fi network. I'm happy, my guests are happy, my wife is happy, everyone's happy. Is this the right solution for everybody? Probably not. You just saw how easy it was to set up, so I'm honestly not sure why everybody wouldn't do this unless you've got something against QR codes. 
All right, so if you've watched all the way to this point and your only intention was to watch because of free stuff, at 250 subscribers, I'm going to give away an Amazon Fire 7. At 500 subscribers, I'm going to give away an Amazon Fire 10. At 750 subscribers, I'm going to give away an Amazon Fire 10, as well as a wall mount bracket so that you can mount this in your kitchen or your master suite or wherever you like, and you can run your home assistant app on here and control your house from this. So what do you have to do to win? First thing you need to do is you need to subscribe to the channel, obviously. Second thing you need to do is you need to comment on a video. I'd appreciate a like as well, but when we reach one of those subscriber milestones, I'm going to go through all the videos. I'm going to randomly select a winner from the comments. I'll mention that person in the next video after we reach that milestone. They'll need to contact me and we'll arrange for shipping to get that to them. When the channel reaches 1,000 subscribers, I will have a very special prize that I'm going to give away. So make sure that you stay tuned so that you can find out what that is. Rules. You do need to be in the continental United States, the lower 48, in order to be eligible to win one of these. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, leave a comment, like the video, and we will see you next time.